Yeah, justice. Oi. The human rights activist. Oi, oi. There will never be any peace. No peace, no until peace. Until God is seated at the conference table, the conference table. There will never be any peace. No peace, no peace. Until God. Seated at the conference table, the conference table. This is the word of his imperial majesty, M. Para Hill, Silasi, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Conquering, Lion, Emperor of Ethiopia, speaks on religion. To make all will obedient to good influence and to avoid evil is to show the greatest wisdom. In order to follow this aim, one must be guided by religion. Progress without religion is just like a life surrounded by unknown perils and can be compared to a body without soul. Knowing that material and spiritual progress are essential to man, we must cease to work for the equal attainment of both. Only then shall we be able to acquire the absolute inner calm, so necessary to our well-being. Whenever conflict arises between material and spiritual values, the conscience plays an important role. And anyone who suffers from a guilty conscience is never really free from this problem until he makes peace with himself and his conscience. Discipline of the mind is the basic ingredient of genuine morality and therefore spiritual strength. Spiritual power is eternal guide in this life and the life after. For man ranks supreme among all creatures. Led forward by spiritual power, man can reach the summit destined for him by the great creator. Since nobody can interfere in the realms of God, we should tolerate and live side by side with those of other faiths. In the mystic traditions of different religions, we have a remarkable unity of spirit. Whatever religion they may profess, they are spiritual kinsmen. While the different religions in their historic form bind us to limited groups and militate against the development of the loyalty to the world community, the mystics have already stood for the fellowship of humanity. In harmony with the spirit of the mystic of ages gone by. No one should question the faith of others. For no human being can judge of the ways of God. However wise or however mighty a person may be. He is like a ship without a rudder if he is without God. A rudderless ship is at the mercy of the waves and the wind. Drift wherever they take it. And if there arise a whirlwind, it is smashed against the rock and become as if it has never existed. It is our firm belief that a soul without Christ is bound to meet with no better faith. The love shown by our God to mankind should constrain all of us who are followers and disciples of Christ to do all in our power to see to it that the message of salvation is carried to those of our fellows who had not had the benefit of hearing the good news. It is our conviction that all the activities of the children of men, which are not guided by the spirit and counsel of God, will bear no lasting fruit. They will not be acceptable in the sight of God. It will therefore come to naught as the Tower of Babel came to naught. The grace of God is eternal, angels in heaven and the creation on earth sing his praise. We thank the master of the world, almighty God, for belong to God. May God our creator, the helper, the guiding light of us all, grant you his wisdom that you may be a fruit for his glory. Brr, the story. Sure. Hey. Tell him. There will never be any peace until God is seated at the conference table, the conference table. There will.